Hello ladies and gentlemen and today is Friday and you know what that means it means I'm gonna do whatever the heck I want to and since I've been playing it all week we are gonna do a little bit of World of Warcraft Miss of Pandaria and today what I'm gonna do is close that bag full of crap and then I'm going to queue for a scenario so I'm gonna do a quick scenario just to show you off one of those. We are going to just make it random, and for a scenario run, which is almost always instant queue, you get a little cache of treasures, which can contain items, as well as gold and other things, as well as you get 15 valor points. It's not very many valor points, but it's about a valor point a minute, if not quicker than that, because they are very quick. They also get about 20 gold. Let's just go ahead and find a group, and you'll see just how quick these queues are supposed to be. says the average wait time is six seconds and there it is right on cue very quickly and uh it looks like this one's at the white tiger monastery i haven't actually run this one yet so you'll get to check that out so we're gonna start it with this goblin fella here you'll notice we have a mage and a priest so all cloth you know that would be very bizarre for a dungeon but this of course is a scenario and you don't need tanks or healers so you can do whatever the heck you want I'm gonna go talk to this guy up here see what this what is all up? about basically complete the quest get a nice item sure buff my fellows and it looks like we are ready to go I am gonna drop down my new demon gate ability because who knows that might come in useful this is a really cool thing and it has quite a bit of range on it. you see it go all the way across there now this cool portals coming in and setting up and whenever I jump into one of these two ports it's gonna port me up to the other one it takes about a 15 second cooldown and the thing also has to charge up so here we go. Let's go ahead and ring that gong. Looks like nobody did that. I thought somebody did that. I will ring the gong. And we're gonna have to kill Scarshell. Oh, it's a big turtle. So cool. This is like a little arena event. I did indeed see some videos and some of the trailers and stuff. You can find a little bit about this scenario. I don't know if they talk about a specific or if it's just like screenshots and stuff. But either way, we're going to take this guy down probably pretty easy. He's got about 6.3 million hit points, which is quite a bit. But you end up regularly taking down guys with 2 million hit points on your own. So it's nothing to be really worried about. And a real nice thing is my demon here can essentially tank. So even though we don't need a tank or don't bring a tank, it can actually help out quite a bit simply because my guy can tank it and it just allows us to control the fights a little bit. Uh, not have to use our damage mitigation abilities and just focus on DPSing the crap out of him. Now, if you guys don't play Warlocks, or even if you do and have not checked out Demonology, or even if you are playing Demonology, Demon Form is so bloody powerful now. Just look at those numbers going up. And you can see my DPS meter is climbing pretty fast. I mean, I wasn't doing too good at DPS before, but now it is just skyrocketing. If you could stay in that form, forever you would be the highest dps class in the game no questions asked that is how powerful that demon form is so if you're not making good use of it definitely make sure and do that oh, i thought she was gonna run in there all right so we're all gonna need to eat up and buff up and it looks like we're gonna go on the next wave so this is kind of like those blood ring arenas and stuff like that i don't know if there is one actually in the you know, in the outside world because frankly there doesn't really need to be anymore because of these i'm gonna go ahead and go through my demon gate here and see what that's all about and poof go all the way over there notice i get a 15 or about 12 second actually cooldown so i can't go through it again pop my demon on him another cool ability is imp swarm if you watched any of my previous uh world of warcraft miss pandaria beta videos I used Imp Swarm quite a bit. It's very nice. Uh, it does make it so you can't summon any more imps uh, with your wild imps ability. 
but in the meantime you get five out. So I usually wait till I have one or maybe even two imps out and then activate it so you got six or seven, which is just ridiculous. You can get some insane monster numbers going on. Demon numbers, rather. Uh, it's gonna be quite good. So I'm gonna go ahead and go to demon form here again. So it's gonna buff the raid, or actually, I might have removed the buff. I don't know, it doesn't seem to be up now. There it is. That was odd. Oh, and I went out of demon form when I did that. My demon form doesn't move it. I thought it might remove it for a second. You can tell I'm, I'm just still figuring out the game. I've only been 90 for... Well, the game's been out for three days because it is Thursday recording this. Uh, so I've been 90 for two days now. I didn't hit on the first day. I wanted to, but I didn't get around to it, so... Well, that's okay. Sleep is more important sometimes, especially when you do still have a job the next day. So, make, make do with what you can, I guess. Alright, so we're gonna get Jolgrum down quite easily. Looks like somebody died there for a second. I think it was just my target of target. All good on that front. And we'll get to the next guy, which is little Luyang. Little. Either this guy is going to be really big or it's like a kid, which is bizarre. Gong rong. What do we got? Oh, it's a little uh, elemental spirit. Nice. Frost here. I just, I haven't used that portal very long, and I'm just enjoying hopping through it. It's a lot of fun. Alright, not sure what this guy's gonna do here. They, it hasn't really been difficult. Difficult. Again, it's not like bosses that you're used to. You're not gonna do large amounts of DPS. They're not gonna do crazy killer abilities. They might have some tamed down ones, kind of like that that you'll still need to avoid, and it's going to be a good kind of training scenario that uh, help people who haven't really raided out much or even done regular dungeons, really. I'm not sure what he's doing. Oh, he's summoning something. Oh, little, little guys, there they are. Stop the flame wall from spinning if we kill them. There, it went away. One of them. Okay, that's kind of cool. There's a couple guys spinning around the room. You kill them, the walls go away. Did my demon die? Where is my demon? Oh, he's up there. Oh, gotta dodge that again. I'm suddenly not really doing very much DPS. One thing I know is I fill up on demon, demonic fury, as it's called, quite often, and just don't notice. Oh, got an achievement for that. Beat the heat. No one taking damage from the firewall. Very nice. Can't complain about that. I like it when people cooperate and uh, get me achievements. I always remember back in the day, people would just be stupid and you wouldn't get an achievement that was supposed to be super easy. What do we got here? A yak with a yongle on it. If you haven't checked out the yongle, they are annoying. You, you really get tired of yongle after a while. They are the yak taran species that is an enemy to everyone, essentially. Oh boy, looks like we gotta fight the yak as well. I'm gonna pop all my buddies. And you'll notice I'm running and casting one of the warlocks level 90. Oh, one of the warlocks level 90 abilities allows you to cast while running. In fact, the activated form of the talent allows you to run while casting for six seconds. But the passive allows you to run while casting, period, except you get slowed by 10% for the first cast of a spell, and you get slowed by a second 10% for the second cast. But it caps out at 10%, so you only, you're still going 80% of your speed, but you can always cast while moving. It's the passive way outpowers the activatable. It's not worth activating, ever. I almost don't even have it on my bars. I've considered taking it off, uh, but I have kept it on for now, just in case for some reason, I don't know, I find I need it. Okay, so that yak went down pretty easy. I mean, you can see, the scenarios aren't necessarily a challenge, but that's nice sometimes. I like to just relax, do a little bit of a scripted event, not have to worry what I'm doing, where I'm pushing buttons. 
Um, I don't think we'll be doing a lot of scenarios in the long run, but it's something nice to relax in. Uh, if you need 15 quick Valor points, you know, why the heck not do that? Now there, that was probably the first somewhat decent opportunity I've used a gate on to get away from the guy there that was somewhat hitting on me. Maybe he wasn't hitting on me at all and he was hitting on my demon. I don't know. This guy definitely seems like the last guy though. He had a lot more hit points. There was two of them. It's obviously going down a little bit slower. Pop out some more demons there. Any second now. Getting more into using my soul fire as well. I used to stack that up to almost six stacks of soul fire. Just completely ignoring it. I've always been a shadow bolt warlock. I'm just used to that. Okay, one more challenge it looks like. The final stage. So we'll again eat up our biscuits. Or what, what even are these? Mana buns. So the new mage food is mana buns. Alright, looks like everybody's ready. Maybe... Yeah, close enough. Whatever. I'm ringing the gong. Who do we got here? Possibly... A Jinyu. Interesting. I expected a Mantid or something, but I guess this is all kind of... I don't know, the... Fum. <laughs> what is Fum? Alright, I don't see this guy being too much of a threat, considering he's got as much hit points as the Yongle did. Maybe he has something hidden up his sleeve that we should be prepared for. Oh, he's going down really easy here. Oh, hey, casting wall running. That's another thing. Um, I'm so used to being able to cancel spells by moving that I'm oftentimes finding myself running and casting a spell and trying to cast something else like a stun, and I'm just I'm getting having issues doing such, because obviously I'm still casting spells, so I'm going to have to get used to pressing escape more. Obviously any demonology lock, or a, even any warlock, period, that chooses that talent is going to have to get used to that. And frankly, I feel that most warlocks are going to end up choosing that. Uh, it is a superior talent of the three, at least in my opinion. Uh, but one of the other ones does increase your AoE range by 500%. I mean, that's a pretty insane amount of percentage. So that very well could compensate for being able to move the wall casting. And the other one... Oh, what is it? I can actually pull it up here. The other one causes an enemy to suffer 25% of all damage you take during, well, for 8 seconds. And that's the activatable part. The passive is enemies who attack you suffer 5% of all damage they deal to. So in a weird way, it's like if you were tanking or something. I don't know. There's some strange tank-like buffs that you get throughout... Miss of Pandaria, even though Blizzard keeps saying it's not, they're not making Warlocks tanks. So I don't know what they're talking about there. Um, frankly, give Warlocks tanking abilities. I want it. Anyways, guys, that was the Proving Ground scenario. I am, of course, the Rondin, and there's my demon there, and this is Action Jack on the screen, my level 90 Warlock. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing a little bit of the scenarios in Mist of Pandaria. You can do those when you are level 90. And if you guys would like to see some more World of Warcraft videos, let me know. Um, I did a lot of them earlier in my channel's lifespan, and I would like to do more. So just give me some feedback, let me know, and I will see all of you on the other side.